Hello everyone, today we are going to three bakeries you have to try when you're in Edinburgh. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. Yep, today I am sacrificing myself for all of you and I'm going to eat some food. This is actually a requested video. A lot of you have said, can you show us some bakeries to visit? So I was like, well, if that's what you want, that's what you want. And the good thing is now, I haven't been able to do these for a while because not a lot of places were open, but things are really opening, opening up now here in Edinburgh and in Scotland in general. So I can go in. I'm not going to sit in. I'm going to take it out. But I can go in get stuff, don't have to queue at the door and just get served at the door, which we've been doing for a while. I can go in and get stuff. Got my mask. Life is getting back to normal. Anyway, cake, 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 cake. So I've came to a part of town, which I've not came to actually really a lot in these videos. I've came up to Brunsfield, which is not far outside the centre of town. Um, it's really, you, you go at the meadows, you go a little bit further up and then you're there. It's, it's really easy to get to, I'll, I'll, you know, you can find it on a map easily. And first up, we are going to Cuckoo's Bakery. Now Kirsten found this, Kirsten said, you need to go here, you need to go here. And when your wife suggests food, who am I to argue? Just to give you a rough idea where we are, we're right in the corner of Brunsfield Place right now. If I head down there, we'll get to the King's Theatre and it'll take me down into the town. There is just, you know, Brunsfield Terrace there. If I cut across the grass there, I get to the meadows. And if I turn right round here, there is Cuckoo's Bakery. I am properly looking forward to this. You can see they had quite a wide selection of stuff there. I have bought two, two of the red velvet cupcakes. Um, this is what Kirsten told me to get. She went, go get the red velvet cake. So I've went, I've got the red velvet cake. I am not waiting for her to try it. We're going to sit in the car and I'm going to shove this in my mouth. And then, you know, review it adequately for you all. But I'm going to shove this in my mouth. Yes, we are back in the car because we're in the car today because I will be dodging about town a little bit to get to all three of these bakeries. But like I said, Cuckoo's Bakery for number one today. I think they've got a couple around town, uh, but obviously I went, oh, 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 I went to the one at uh, Brunsfield. Look at that beautiful beautiful thing i tell you if any of you are into instagramming food and things like that some of these places are probably going to be right on your list right on your list look at that look at that isn't that a beauty and another one for kirsten just so you know i'm not eating both of them i'm not eating both of them i am eating this one look at that beautiful redness oh, i've not even got a drink so this is going to be messy, you know. My mouth is going to be red and be crumbs, and uh, don't judge me. And uh, obviously, I need to get it all in one bite to really, you know, appreciate the flavour. Oh, oh my word! Oh wow! I mean, the cake itself. Excuse me. The cake itself is lovely. It's uh, beautiful and moist and not too moist. You know, it's beautiful and soft. So well baked. But the icing, oh wow, it's so buttery. So lovely and buttery. And it's got a wee love heart on the top. I threw my love heart away. It's stuck to my finger and then it threw away. Can I steal curses from the top of our cake? No, no, I better not. No, oh, I won't, I won't, I won't. Oh, that's gotten. I don't know where that went. I genuinely don't know where that went. Well, I'm going to take some more of this, though. Take some more of this, bad boy. Mmm. 
that lovely. Oh, squash my, my love heart. Yes, I can highly, highly, highly recommend. Because truthfully, Brunsfield's really easy to get to, especially if you're in the meadows. Just cut up, cut up through the meadows, through Brunsfield's lengths, and you're there. You're right there at Cuckoo's Bakery. And it's a lovely little area to go to. There's lots of nice little cafes and shops there anyway if you wanted to head up that way. And it's nice to get out of, out of the centre of town, explore a little bit more. That's right there, it's right, you know, 15 minute walk from the centre. Mm, uh, 20 to half an hour maybe walk from the centre to be completely honest. Um, depending on where you're coming from. But the meadow's really easy to get there. But this, this is worth it. This is worth that journey. Moving on. Okay, next up. Well, that was really close to my face, wasn't it? Not very professional at all. But then, where have I ever been professional, people? Uh, oh, my voice cracked. Did you hear that? Where have I ever been professional? Remember Police Academy? Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Played Zed in Police Academy. <laughs> That's kind of what I sounded like there. It's also the voice of Panic in Hercules. Pain and Panic! Yeah? Yeah? Anyone? Just me? No, right. This second one we're at is actually it, not too far away from the first one. It's also very close to the meadows. So you could you could walk from one to the other very easily. A little in and out here from streets, but you could probably use the meadows as a as a as a central point and get to both of them. But this next one is Sugar Daddy's Bakery. So you might think that you can't find it because it feels like I'm in the, in the middle of houses and things. So I'm going to show you how you can get here really easily. We're at an area of Edinburgh called Marchmont. And if I look straight down here, this is Argyle Place right here. If I look straight down here, if you can see the meadows down there, that's the meadows. And then that is a path in the meadows right there. See that right there? Can you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That path. It's central meadow path. It's the middle path, right in the meadows. Cut straight through the meadows. If I go a straight line, if I walk straight down there, straight up that path, and just continue walking in a straight line, I will get to the National Museum of Scotland in Greyfriars Bobby. So you could get there and just walk almost essentially straight. Just keep walking straight, and you will get to where I am now. Argyle Place. And then as soon as you get to the end of Argyle Place, you turn right in the Argyle Bar, and you can see people standing waiting outside anyway and then right here with red velvet ropes waiting outside this is sugar daddy's bakery this is actually the second one that kirsten suggested but we have Sugar's Daddy Bakery. Now I've got two things again, one for Kirsten, don't worry, I'm not leaving her high and dry and I'm sure in a few years once Lillian's at the point where she's eating cake, I'll be buying three pieces, but she's not there yet. <laughs> so yeah, I got I actually got a red velvet pie that she, she asked for when I bought the red velvet cake from the other one, which was delicious. I had red velvet in my head because I knew that one of the places that she said she wanted a red velvet thing, it was that one because she wanted the red velvet pie. So she's got a red velvet cupcake as well. Red velvet overload. However, I have got something else for myself. Okay, back in the car. Uh, do you like my t-shirt, by the way? Do you like my t-shirt? For those of you that don't know, this is Brunford exclusive merchandise that we've had for a while. If you haven't had a chance to go check out the shop, you can. Just check the link in the description, or we might have the shelf now. We might have the YouTube Brunford merchandise shelf. Have a look through there. This is our exclusive design. Edinburgh, I'm here for a wander. Go check it out. Um, however, oh, I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to this because I got a Cabri's orange twirl slice. And this... This, my friends, is going to be epic. Look, look at this beauty. It's got two chocolate orange twirls on the top. And, oh, and, <laughs> right. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Now you guys know. I like my food. You can tell by the fact that I am massively overweight right now. But. That's lovely. Oh, I mean, this is one of those things, it's heavy. You know what I mean? This is heavy. After these three cakes I'm eating today, I'm not going to need to eat for the rest of the day. But look at that nice gooey. Oh, what is that? I'm not sure, but it's lovely. <laughs> it's a Terry's chocolate orange tray bake, is what it is. And that's delicious. The red velvet pie is supposed to be incredible as well. I would have tried that, but I'd had the red velvet already. So you'll just have to take my word for it. Oh, these are two bakeries that you have to try. If you're, you know, into this sort of thing and you don't mind exploring a little bit, that's two that you have to try with one more to go. Our last one, we've actually mentioned before, we mentioned before a while ago, like, I mean, a couple of years ago, when I did um, vegetarian and vegan places to visit. So we're going to go to a vegan, vegan, a vegan, a vegan, a vegan, a vegan, vegan <laughs> bakery. Uh, I am parked on um, George Street right now. Uh, right at the end of George Street, we're going to go down Castle Street, down North Castle Street. So you can go from Princess Street up Castle Street, Castle. Oh, I can't talk, it's all the cake. Up Castle Street, down North Castle Street, halfway down North Castle Street, turn right, you get to this, uh, the Naked Bakery, um, and we can get some vegan cake. Now, if you haven't tried vegan cake before, don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of it. Tastes lovely. So, just to give you an idea of how to get here again, there is Edinburgh Castle. That is Prince's Street at the end there. That is this street here. It's Castle Street. You cross over George Street here and then you head down North Castle Street. So halfway down North Castle Street, come to Hill Street, walk along here. And in hardly any time, in fact, I can see it. I can see the blueness of it now. There's the Naked Bakery right there. Now it's one of these places, again, that's tucked away. All the places that I'm kind of showing you, you'll have to search to find, but they are worth it. And here we are, the Naked Bakery. I have to say as well, after eating two cakes already, and I'm about to eat a third, having it be vegan <laughs> makes me feel a little bit healthier. Now you can see there, those looked incredible. Absolutely incredible. I got cursed in this Nutella, and I have got a strawberry chocolate. I mean, look at it. Does, it. does that not look absolutely incredible? Look at that. Look at that. Now, I, none of you, none of you, I bet if any of you got this put in front of you, none of you would go, oh, that's vegan. You just wouldn't. Look at it. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Looks incredible. But the test is in the tasting. I'm trying to see my face, but I mean that's, that's essentially just chocolate, white chocolate, pink white chocolate, and then a strawberry, 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 strawberry. Get your strawberries. Two for a pound. Two for a pound. Right. Two for a pound. Strawberries. Two for a pound. That's an East End Market seller. Uh, I am available for all acting jobs. <laughs> I mean that tastes like a strawberry. Oh, look at this. It's pink. It's pink. I mean, that looks incredible. Just like the first cupcake we had um, from Cuckoo's. I mean, look at that. Oh my God. That's incredible. The fact that that is vegan blows my mind. Because that is a softer, obviously it's not as buttery, but the cream so soft, the icing so soft, and it's got, it's got strawberry jam, which I'm assuming is, is vegan stra strawberry jam in the middle of it as well. That is just incredible. Ah, oh, <laughs> honestly, the sacrifices I make for you people, so that you can know 
where all these things are. So when you come, you can have a great time. It's all for you. None of this is for me. It's not for me to enjoy. It's for you to enjoy. You're welcome. Anyway, there you go. Three, oh, three bakeries for you to try when you're in Edinburgh. Truthfully, you could also say if you're into your Instagrammable food, three good three stops there. You could definitely get things that are Instagrammable, especially the Naked Bakery. All of those look fantastic. They're all glittery and shiny. Um, but as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have, please remember leave a like, leave a comment. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Look after yourselves. Till next time. Bye, humans.